Hey everyone, it's Moolah Please with my third installment in my Learn the Landing series about the pressure plant. So, let's get into it. Uh, to start out with, in terms of drops, I'd recommend this spot first, this spot second, and then down here third. The reasoning is None of the areas, none of these buildings have good materials to hit inside of them. So these wood pallets here give the player who lands here immediately way more power for build fights and just every sort of positional advantage over the person down here. And then if they want to contest this person, Although their looting will take longer because they have to hit the pallets as opposed to this player who actually does have a long loot time because they need to come up all the way here to check this chest if they want to unless they decide to make the rotation early because there is two chest spawns here. However, this player can just ramp up here and then use this to get high ground and then AR him who would have no materials and would probably just have to end up sitting in a building. Once that happens, this player is free to loot the surrounding areas while maintaining just like a general eye on this person to make sure that they're not scheming anything because it's not the most... They probably won't be getting a lot of mess in any of the buildings. Despite how long they turtle, presuming you max your 500 wood here, and if you want metal, go ahead and get it. Uh, I'd recommend landing here second because it can have really flexible options. If you want to just loot these four area, these two areas, I guess, and then just leave with the geyser, you can just rotate out, and it's super convenient. Um, if you want to push, it's a little bit more difficult but you can take this geyser and then go up here and then try to shoot downwards uh, er, or uh, you could just keep going here and then there's like one chest spawn here which is kind of something uh, the last spot I'd recommend landing at is down here because there is a decent amount of loot but it's really hard to move up or to move down towards the volcano with how little materials you're going to be having if the people here want to for example farm this out and then just shoot at you and just hold you it's really not much you can do about that aside from farming inefficient uh, metal in terms of rotations there's obviously vents everywhere near and this newly added uh, control tower I guess and then there's one baller spawn here it's not very reliable so you know you tend to be betting on a single spawn is what I'm saying uh, other teams rotating to you is in my opinion kind of unlikely because if a team lands at this upper metal part where these vents would be more likely to chain from one to the other to lead into here then they would be giving up the reason they land here which is kind of ballers and insane ri no, mobility like quads or hoverboards and generally players here just stick to like this top part of the map because uh, they just have so much I don't know it's just what they do it's better I like it though personally uh, players landing here have a lot of area to walk around so their looting takes longer in my opinion because they have to go up and down different elevations whereas in this is just like a building that's two blocks wide with one floor you know or two floors it's not that intense uh, you can take this vent and then make your way over to this uh, turbine tunnel for really far rotations because it leads ridiculously far uh, if you're going to just make sure that you go through this direction to the left branching left 
through the open mouth rather than to the right because you're you won't be able to dive if you need to because of how steep this area is. I think the only plausible team that could rotate into you to engage early game would be this tomato temple team if they wanted to loot the outpost or anything and then hit this vent and camp at the top of the mountain which I don't think is too is going to happen too often to be honest. In terms of material diversity there's obviously Max Metal, um, about, I would say, uh, more than a thousand wood, I'm pretty sure. And then, there's some rocks you can hit, such as these, which yield about 50 once completely broken, so, not bad. It's like 400, I would say. And you can just get them anywhere, honestly. Uh, this will probably be looted by the time you're done, but... You could get still hit the stone out here safely. Overall, I'd rate this spot as being pretty solid because you can get max metal here, max wood. Uh, there's one baller spawn, and you can rotate pretty much anywhere you need to on the map. So there's no real worry about being too late. Just make sure you don't stay too long, otherwise. Other teams also need to use the rotations here, you know, so just keep that in mind and you'll probably be chillin'. Alright, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, whatever, bye.